Hey there, great you tuned in. Today I'm going to show you in this video how you can send a notification to your phone when a certain event happens in your house. For instance, if somebody enters the house or whatever event you can think about, you get a message about it on your phone, which comes in really handy. So let's dive into this. Now we're going to create an automation in Home Assistant that will send a message to your phone when an event happens in your house. This is the way how you do it. Um, I personally use only Home Assistant native stuff for this. Uh, you can also do it with Node-RED, but I'm not a Node-RED expert. I prefer to use the Home Assistant native functionalities for this. So let's go to automations. You can find it here if you go to configuration and then you go to automations and scenes. So you see all the automations in my house and I'm going to create an automation from scratch in Home Assistant. So let's go to the button add automation. Um, I'm not going to select a blueprint because I want to create this automation from scratch because this is what the tutorial is about. So I'm going to choose for start with an empty automation and we are going to give the automation a name. What a handy way to do it is to give every automation a name that some sort of categorizes this automation. So I always start with something like switch or light. And in this case, I will start with notify. So let's say notify. Um, send message if door is opened. I can create an optional description, but I won't in this case now. We are having some triggers here, so I'm going to send a message if uh, the door, the back door is opened uh, from my uh, house. So let's find the device, door, garden door, let's say garden door right. And the trigger is, in this case, garden door right opened. I can also send a message if it's closed or if the battery uh, level is uh, low, which is also a perfectly fine reason to send a message to your phone. I mean, if the battery is low, you want to know it, um, and it's nice to have a message on your phone about that. But in this case, I will choose for a garden door right opened. Then I don't have any conditions in here. I only have actions. Um, so in this case, I'm going to send a message through my phone and that's not uh, done through a device, but done through a service. So I'm selecting call service here. And now I can type notify and I have different services about notifications. And now I'm going to find the service that is connected to my phone. I have multiple people living in my house um, and um, I have to select the correct phone. Uh, in this case, this is my phone. So I'm going to say send a message to this phone. Um, and I can enter a message here. The right garden door is opened. I can give it a title too. I'm going to say, uh, let's say warning for instance, uh, and I leave it at that at this moment uh, to keep it simple. And now I'm going to save this automation. So basically what happens now is that as soon as my right garden door is opened, a message is sent to my mobile phone. I'm going to test it by clicking on run actions and see if I get a message on my phone. Yeah, I got the message as you can see here. And so this is basically the easy way to create a message that you can send to your phone. There are more examples for this. Let's say I'm going to, well, let's do another one. So maybe go back to my automations list. And if you don't know, again, it's going to configuration and then automations and scenes. And we are going to add another automation. Let's say I want to have a message as soon as somebody is entering my house or as soon as someone comes into my house, which is one of my relatives that live in my house. So start with an empty automation again. 
new automation. I'm giving it a name that categorizes my automation. Notify, send message if, oh, message if uh, my girlfriend comes home. Might be handy in some cases. I don't know. Um, so what do we now? Uh, what do we do now? We have a trigger uh, about this, and the trigger is somebody who comes in. So let's say state, and the entity is a person, and this is my girlfriend. So person uh, is the status of this uh, person will be home. And how do I know this? Um, you can check this in the developer tools. So let's take a quick look at that. I go to the developer tools tab over here. I have entities here. I can filter an entity, let's say person, oh, person, and let's say my girlfriend and then I see the state currently is home so I know that this is one of the valid states and I know she's home at the moment so I know that this is um, the state that I can test upon so let's go back to the automation so I'm testing to let's make it home with a uh, small uh, H and then I'm going to say okay send me a message so again I'm going to call service, service is notify, and I'm going to notify to my phone, so this is my phone, I'm going to say, uh, let's say your girlfriend just arrived home, and then can say a title, well, what shall I say, shall I say warning? Is that, f okay, <laughs> let's make it warning, exclamation marks, never know what you're doing, uh, title for your notification, warning, save, and now I'm going to test this by running the actions, and my phone gives a message too, warning, your girlfriend just arrived home. So that is how this works. Um, so this is pretty easy to set up, um, but now you know. And I want to show you some more advanced things because you can also use variables in uh, messages. So let's go to some examples. So I go to my automations list, I search and notify. And for instance, this one is pretty handy that I have because what I can see is what the ink level is in the printer. Um, and I get a notification when the ink level is low so that I can order it. But actually in the notification, I created a link to an online shop where I can uh, order that specific ink cartridge. So I don't have to search every time where, what cart cartridge did I need again, etc. So just to show you how this works, again, the name notify printer ink is low. Um, then I have triggers on devices. So in this case, I have a Canon MX510, which is quite an old uh, printer. Um, and I have different triggers there. And one of the triggers is uh, series black value changes or series color value changes. Um, and I'm saying if the black value is below 20% uh, for the uh, black value, and I do the same for the color value, so or it's below 20%, then uh, sent, sent me a message. And as you can see, this message is a little bit more challenging because I created it in YAML. It cannot be edited in the uh, normal UI. Um, but basically what it says here is um, I'm defining uh, a URL. Uh, so I'm saying this is the URL where I want to go to uh, to order new uh, cartridges. And the message is cartridge levels Black is this percent and color is this percent uh, with a middle message click to order here. 
and it will open the URL when you click on that message. And you have a title, your printer is running out of ink. So let's just run this one. And now you can see that the message is there. Your printer ink is running um, out with the levels uh, which are both on 0%. I mean, I'm not really using the printer at the moment, but I need to buy new, uh, new inked uh, cartridges. And if I click it, then you can see that I will open uh, Home Assistant and I will immediately also open the link of the web shop where I can order these uh, cartridges. That's pretty handy, I think. Um, so let's find another one. Um, for instance, notify, send message if bandwidth is low. Um, I implemented, in my case, if you go to devices and services, I have a lot of devices and services here, but I also have the speed test uh, integration, which basically shows me what the speed is of my uh, internet connection and it tests it, uh, I think, every 30 minutes or so. And when that is low, then I want to have a, a message. So I created an automation for that. Uh, let's go to notify again. Notify. Um, where is it? So send message if bandwidth is low. So basically what this does is it is uh, checking on the numeric state of the sensor speed test download, which is a sensor that you get with this integration. And I'm going to say if it's below uh, 40 uh, MB, MB per second, then I would like to have a message. And what I did here is actually sort of the same. I also used um, a variable here. So I'm going to say the message is download speed is low. And this is basically the value, so sensor.speedTestDownload is this value here, so the entity value that I get there. Uh, so it will show this message in my on my phone. This is how you use variables. Uh, you can do it with states, sensor, speed test, download, and then you, in this case, and then you get that value there. So yeah. That was a short tutorial about how to use notifications, send to, you know, notifications to your phone. Um, I might create a video in the future that has more advanced features with this, but you never know. Just let me know in the comments below if you would like that or that you have other requests for videos, and then I'll be happy to create them for you. So you will be an expert in Home Assistant too. Great, well, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe, um, tick the little bell so you get all the videos from me. And uh, yeah, see you next time. Bye-bye.